We've seen it already with the boom and bust cycle of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline. People went to work and had big bucks, and then all of a sudden those jobs were over and there was nothing. I saw what it costs, the village. I saw the social change of hardship that people go through when their traditional foods are ripped out from underneath them. They had put in causeways to allow oil and gas development to occur on the nearshore environment. They told us, don't worry, we're going to maintain these causeways. It's going to protect the fish migration. Over eight years, we watched the Arctic Cisco harvest decline. They brought in hundreds of flights, seismic activity in which caribou were diverted from completely around the village. When you have the young hunters who are losing their harvest because now there have been hundreds of helicopter flights flying over them and you can't get that harvest, you deal with anger and frustration. There were a lot of hardship. People started having problems with domestic violence. There was a number of people that were losing hope and there was a lot of drinking that was going on. There were a number of people that were attempting suicides. When you impact a community with no resources, no jobs, no assistance for a food bank, what are people to turn to? 